Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and we're back at this setting. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to be doing your love reading, this week's love reading. Guys, big announcement, huge announcement actually. I am going to shift our schedule a little bit. I'm going to be doing Monday to... Monday to Thursday, all I can post. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm going to be out living my life. <laughs> so I'm not going to be posting on the weekends. It's been almost a year and a half in which I've been working weekends. And, you know, since it was the pandemic and everything, it didn't really make much of a difference. Everything was closed off here. But now that life is sort of happening again <laughs> i really want my weekends again so that's what i'm gonna be doing i hope that you guys are okay with that maybe you're gonna be even happier who knows i bet you guys are living your life too <laughs> all right so pisces in love pisces in love oh shit <laughs> First card showing up here, the Seven of Swords. Well, I mean, honestly, you guys, keeping it real, this is not the best card to have in regards to love. This is someone trying to get away with something, okay? This is someone being sneaky, lying. So if you're dealing with someone else, I would be careful at this time. I wouldn't trust them much, honestly, um, until I know them better. If you're not dealing with anyone romantically right now, this could be related to work, so be careful about that. And another option is that you yourself are somehow lying to yourself at this time, Pisces. Could that be it? Is there something that you're not wanting to admit to yourself? But this is about love, so, you know, could be another person. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. Someone trying to get away with something. Tr someone not being completely honest with you. Doing some shady stuff somewhere. In the recent past, you have the Seven of Cups. So maybe you have recently been kind of confused in regards to love. You know, if you're single, maybe you're like, I want a relationship. And then you're like, no, you know what? I want to be single. And you may be shifting your mind a bit in regards to that. Others of you have recently had many options to choose from. Maybe you're on some kind of dating app or something like that. The person you may have chosen, if they're a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, may, ha may have been the wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> so just be aware, just be careful, okay? In your mind space, you've got the Hierophant. Some of you guys could be actually thinking a lot about a Taurus person or really hoping for a connection to turn into a higher level of commitment, you know, even marriage. This may be important for you, Pisces. And maybe that's what you're hoping for, that's what you're envisioning. But this person may be envisioning something else. You could be on different pages. So before trusting this person, before sort of like giving them your heart sort of, um, be careful Pisces, be careful. In the future we've got the chariot. You know, I see you moving on from this person, Pisces. I feel like you're going to see red flags and you're going to move on from this. Maybe you have a vision in mind about a higher level of commitment if you're interested in love. And this is just not it. Maybe you're thinking, you know, if I ever want to get married, I should probably start dating people who are marriage material. And you may be kind of wanting this from someone you're dealing with and realizing that they can't give you that. You may connect to a Cancer, 
in the near future as well. But there is definitely movement forward. You got a lot to do. You have a successful life, Pisces. You're pursuing so many things. And I would advise you, not that you have to listen to my advice, but I would advise you to go deep, ask the right questions, and get it over with, and move on. If, you know, you feel like this kind of applies to you. Like, it's better to just see the signs, all the red flags, face the person, realize what's going on, and just put an end to it, rather than hoping for the best, seeing the best in someone when that may not even be there, gaslighting yourself, you know, trying to make it work at all costs is not going to be um, convenient for you time-wise. But it may be hard. You may have a lot of illusion with this person. You may have a lot of excitement. And you may very well choose to say, you know what, I choose to give this a chance. May it crumble if it has to crumble. Others of you are going to be like, I don't want to lose my time. <laughs> may it crumble right now. There's a big chance right now, Pisces, that you're blinding yourself. You know what's up. If it feels off, it feels off. If there are red flags, there are red flags. And you know what to do. You don't have to understand. You don't have to figure it out. You don't have to see in the physical reality what you have been suspicious of. It's like you don't have to wait for them to cheat on you to move on. If you already feel super weird about it, like don't expose yourself to the trauma of betrayal. If you already know in that intuition of yours, that fishy intuition of yours, that something is off, I see something is off. Even if you can't explain it in the physical just yet, move on. If you feel strong enough. Judgment. Your environment. If you don't make this decision, the decision is going to be made for you. Death. Hopes and fears. Part of you knows. <laughs> Part of you knows. Part of you is like, damn it. Katie, why are you bringing this to my awareness? I was trying to ignore it. <laughs> I was trying to just not pay attention to it. I was trying to be blissfully swept off my feet. But you already know. And for those of you that this is just not resonating, good. That's great. That means that you, you are not dealing with the situation. But those of you who are... Sorry, guys. Sorry to kind of like slap you with the truth. <laughs> if this is resonating. You may regret spending time in this connection. You may come to the realization that you're going to be extending the process. You're going to be making it last. And ultimately, exposing yourself to some kind of betrayal. God knows, you don't need more betrayal, Pisces, on your list of past experiences. So why expose yourself to this? If you already know that there's something's off. For once, there is marriage in your future. There is success. There is love. There is everything that you want. Because you're going to be moving forward into that. But you can't get there until you move forward. And this current situation is speaking of sneaky energy. Someone trying to get away with something. Someone lying. Someone taking advantage of you. Someone stealing. Could literally be someone stealing from you. Don't, don't let this, this person be around, Pisces. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Doesn't have to be. 
could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, what I'm getting is that your biggest, biggest red flag is if this person wants to go super fast. It's like before you know it, they want sex. Before you know it, they tell you they're in love with you. Before you know it, they want to move in. Before you know it, there's a ring on your finger. And not that that sequence of events is not ideal. Of course it is. But you know when it's too fast. You know when someone tells you, I love you. And your thought is, you don't even know me. <laughs> you know there's something off. And that is kind of like the main red flag. That if you see in this case, it's like, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. What? What? Let's pull some oracles. You already know. Some of you are even tempted to close this reading because this is not what you want to hear. Like, Fuck, I don't want to deal with this right now. I'll let it crumble on its own. You can do that. You can totally do that. Let's use this one. And see, it is safe for you to love came in the reverse. The bottom of the deck. It is safe for you to love Pisces, but not this person. <laughs> I'm being so intrusive right now. I try to keep my messages sort of general, but it's like, you know, sometimes, sometimes it just happens this way. I had a personalized reading recently in which I felt that way. And I was just kind of embarrassed to like say it so bluntly. But then I was confirmed that the person probably needed it to be that way. So shout out to you. You know who you are. <laughs> um, my loves, I'm offering personalized readings. I have a few um, spots and they're constantly opening up. So you can write to us at the email under this video and check out how it works. See if it resonates with you. Also, we have 50% off on the website on all the courses, including the Abundance Blueprint and the Energy Protection, which are our sort of bestsellers. The Abundance Blueprint is very popular because it deals with your relationship with money and how to heal your relationship with money, how to, through energy work, unblock that area of your life so you can have that freedom so you can have that relief honestly some people spend every single day thinking about making ends meet and all of that energy has been consumed when you could be using it for something else This and that can be true. Some of you guys have children. And some of you guys are going to receive a red flag from your children. Or even your pets. <laughs> it's like this person comes over and your dog is like barking like crazy. And they don't usually do that. That's a sign that this person's energy may be a little off. If they get to meet your children, your children may not warm up to this person. They're, they're, they may be kind of like standoffish. This and that is true. So you may feel a very strong connection to this person. There may be a strong bond. There may be what seems like a spiritual connection. But that does not necessarily mean that this person knows how to treat you. That doesn't necessarily mean that this person can give you what you need. Okay, this could be a karmic thing. Transformation is beautiful, card number 11. I am recording this November 11. I don't think it's going to come up today, but tomorrow probably. Believe in yourself. Card number 57, some of you guys could be 
57 years old. We're coming on to 57 in Pisces season. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So Pisces, this feels like a little bit of an intervention, you know, spirit saying, hey, do you really want to go through this? Like, do you really want to repeat this cycle? Or are you going to trust yourself right now? Are you going to trust your intuition this time around? This has happened in the past. And out of the need for thrill or the need for love, the need for company, the need for fun, you may have overlooked certain red flags and ended up facing another situation that ends up making you feel like shit and makes you pile up trust issues. What can I say, Pisces? <laughs> what can I say? Um, I can say that I love you guys. I can say that you guys are the best that I'm sure of. Check out everything on the website. Even if you don't buy anything, check it out. You may find confirmations. You may find important messages for you. Now, as far as the personalized readings, um, that is pr a product that it's not for everybody. Just book it if you feel like you really need some guidance or if you really need kind of like a picture of your life at this time to see where you want to go. I would love to help you with that, of course. And when you write to us, it may take a little while for Dorsa, my assistant, to get back to you. If she doesn't get back to you right away, that means that the five readings that I'm dealing with currently are not yet completed. And as soon as I complete the five readings, then she opens up more spots. So it's kind of like, you know, a little bit of an assurance that we're not going to make you wait an eternity like before. And that I'm not going to get burned out to the point of having to make returns and refunds and disappoint everybody. <laughs> So yes, my loves, everything is in the description box below. I love you, and I'll see you in the next reading.